cupboard today and I found a fire escape ladder still in the box. I had purchased this at some point in the last 10-15 years and it's really heavy and made of metal. Um, I bought it as a knee-jerk reaction to some news item about a fire in flats and it's designed to fit over the windowsill. Back when I bought it, himself and I had a couple of fire drills. We timed out how long it would take us to get it out of the box, <laughs> sling it out of the window, <laughs> climb out, descend the ladder. Six minutes, not bad. <laughs> himself said though, what about if we were inebriated? Well, it's a fair question. <laughs> and I thought we could not ignore such an important parameter. So in the interest of science, we sat there dressed as at a party with the escape ladder in the box in the cupboard. We enjoyed some wine, a few chin-chins and some supermarket brandy. Himself had set a timer as a cue to use the escape route. We made it down the ladder and thankfully I was still wearing my hat and knickers when they arrested us for breaking and entering. <laughs> Sadly, when we tried it out again recently, we can no longer fit through the windows. <laughs> so himself is going to deposit it, at the deposit it at the charity shop tomorrow. What they'll make of it, I have no idea. Maybe they can hang it from the ceiling and charge people to climb up and down it. <laughs> Thank you.